I'm Ava, and I've spent the last three years of my life traveling solo to some of the world's most remote and offbeat places. From horse trekking alone in Mongolia, to living in Pakistan for a year, and spending the first three months of the pandemic stuck on a remote island off the coast of Yemen before making my way back home on a cargo ship, it's been one hell of an adventure. But recently, I decided it's time for a change. I've been dreaming of being completely free and independent with a little nest of my own. So I bought my dream truck, a Land Rover Defender, and started converting it into an off-road overlander slash mini camper. One of the number one questions that I get asked about my new life on the road is, how do you shower while traveling and living in your car? I know as simple as that question may sound, because it's a bit of like a fundamental human skill these days, <laughs> it's actually a really valid one because as you can see, there's not much space around me. So I'm super excited to bring you this video. It's a really quick and light one. So I hope you enjoy every moment. And of course, at the end of the video, um, there's a secret showering method that I'll share with all of you. That's probably one that many of you will find relatable. Anyway, let's get started. There's actually one thing that humans cannot survive without for more than, I think it's three days, and that is water. So I don't think I have that much water left because I tried to make a coffee this morning and there was only like a tiny little trickle coming out. Okay, so there's still a bit of water left, but given the fact that when I was at a slight angle, there was none coming out, I think I should probably fill it back up. So of course there's a few options for filling up the water tank. I could just fill it up um, using water from the river, that's one option, but that means that the water will then also not be drinkable. So I've come out to the village and there's a little guest house here that I've stayed at before and I'm just gonna grab some of the water that they have in there. It's like a little spot that they have to draw water from the mountain springs and it's 100% drinkable, which means that I can not only shower using this water, but also drink it if I need to. First five liters out of um, 35. <laughs> That's my full capacity, so this is gonna take a little while. <laughs> All right, I've got about 20 liters of water in the tank right now, which should be more than enough for drinking, eating, and even washing for like three, four, maybe even five days. I think when I used to live at home, I used to use so much more water every single day, not because I needed it, but because it was just there, you know? And with my water tank filled up, I'm gonna drive up to a meadow that I've been staying on and, well, gave you what you all came here for, which is um, basic life advice. Before I show you how I shower living in my Defender, I also just want to say one more thing, which is super, super important. I only use all natural soap and shampoo. I don't use the stuff that you buy in bottles. I don't use shower gels because that stuff can really contaminate the nature and the water around you. So I always make sure that I buy like all natural bar soap like this with like as much natural ingredients as possible. And same goes for shampoo. This is a little shampoo bar, also all natural. And uh, look, even if you're using like 99.9% .9 natural products, you still shouldn't use them inside like a river or inside a lake because they could still contaminate the water. Keep yourself clean, keep the nature clean, keep the vibe clean. <laughs> all right, let's start with method number one. This spot is just so perfect. Ah, I wish I could stay here forever. It's just a giant meadow with mountains all around and it's right next to a river which is where I'm gonna <laughs> um, begin this video with my very first showering method mm, i.e. showering in a natural spot first let me dip my feet to see if it's uh, warm enough to even go inside the river My feet feel numb. I don't know if I can do this. I 
I don't know if you can count this as a real shower. It's more like a refreshing dip with some cleansing properties. But you know, who said we have to soap up our entire bodies every single day? Yeah, the world does belong to the brave. I really do believe that, but maybe I'm just not brave enough in this way. This water is glacial, literally glacial coming from these mountains and the glaciers on top of them. Anyway, let me show you some of the more comfortable, easy ways to take a shower while living in a Defender. So, so far, this is probably the easiest, most hassle-free way that I have come up with to take a little quick little kind of shower. It's not really a shower actually, but it does get you a little bit cleaner than before. Let me show you how it works. So first you fill up the little tank, the bottle with water. Actually the full capacity is two liters, but you will never really need to use the full two liters. It's just, it's too much. All right, one liter, that should be more than enough. And then you pump it a little bit like this to create, I guess, air pressure. Then you put it down on a flat surface of any kind and you press here to have the water spraying. And then there's a little, 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 little bit that locks in here. So you don't actually have to keep the this thing pressed down the entire time. It just, it just locks into place. Like so. And that's it. There's your shower. Actually, it works really well and it's super refreshing. So uh, normally you'd do this again naked but you know for the purposes of this video this is an educational video a bit of an entertaining video and that's where we end it on a hot day like this there's nothing better than a little spray shower yeah okay, I think that's enough I actually picked up this showering method from a couple of friends of mine. You can check them out over on Passport Diary. They actually gave me this bottle, this very pump. So thank you guys for sharing it with me. Next up, I want to introduce you to a showering method that I myself am very fond of and I use all the time if I'm in an area with no running water. This is, ladies and gents, a bucket. And the kind of shower that we take with a bucket is called a bucket shower. <laughs> This is actually a pretty authentic vintage bucket from, I think, communist Poland. Now, I don't know if I really need to explain to you guys how a bucket shower works, but for the sake of it, let's do a little guided tour. Normally with bucket showers, it does it fit? No. Normally with bucket showers, I think it's easiest to just grab like a piece of cloth like this and sort of like dip it, a little towel, like a little sponge kind of thing, dip it in the water and then just massage the water in, you know, just wash yourself if necessary, <laughs> add a bit of natural soap, da -da, da -da. I'm just going to do this for demonstration, I'm not actually taking a shower, but you know, I want you to feel that this is real and authentic content. It is how I would normally shower. It's just that filming this video, I've now showered like six times in a single day. So I really don't need to be any cleaner than I am now. But anyway, you get the vibe. Pretty easy. The only disadvantage is you then have to wash your little towel, wait for it to dry. Yeah. This thing here is my shower bag. It's very simple, it's just plastic and it's all black, which is a really good and important thing and I'll tell you why a little bit later. So all I need to do is fill it up with water from my water tank. The water tank which is fitted underneath the car is still like one of my absolute favorite things about my Defender. It's, I use it every single day and I can't imagine living without it. So now I'm going to take this shower bag and I'm going to hang it up on the front grill of the Defender so that it can get a little bit warmed up by the sun behind me. And that's where the black color really helps because obviously, as we know, the black color attracts... Black? Is black a color? I don't know actually. But black attracts heat. So now I'm just gonna wait for the water to heat up a little bit, which could take an hour or two. Let's see, but I got time. I'm just gonna sit down here 
I ride a little bit, meditate, update my Instagram stories, have my coffee. So I think the water is finally ready. The bag feels warm and nice. And I forgot to mention one very important thing. If I'm driving a long distance, then the water usually just gets warmed up inside the water tank by the temperature of the car. But today we're doing things a little bit differently. All right, now let's install the shower. So this here is actually my mobile shower and shower arm and shower cabin. Here is my shower arm. So I attach it here. There's a special little slot. Here we go to just install it very, very quickly. And then it extends all the way out here. And that is the spot where I'm gonna hang up my shower bag with hot water. It takes a few minutes to set up the cabin, but it's super easy. I've seen other cabins that just stay attached to the roof rack permanently and fold in and out kind of automatically. Clearly, overlanding shower cabins are a niche of their own. Who knew? Well, this is kind of it. So I had to attach the shower curtain to the ground using some uh, little pegs because it's a little bit windy today, but I've got my natural soap, I've got my towel, and as you can see, I can now shower in full privacy. Right, so I literally spent two hours waiting for this water to warm up and spilled it in less than a second. <laughs> okay, take two. This is an unexpected mess. I still want to show you how I shower, so I'm just gonna have to fill this bag back up and shower in the cold water. Take two. <laughs> I really don't want to make the same mistake again. Ooh, careful. Careful. Whoop, there we go. There's water. We got water. Ah, I'm not ready to shower. Someone's flying a drone over my head and it's not me. I hope they can't see into the cabin. Of course, normally you'd, you know, get undressed. But I'm just gonna stay in this because obviously this is YouTube. So here I've got my natural shampoo and here I've got my natural soap. And I've got my natural shower. <laughs> All right, here we go. A little bit of water. Is it cold? It's cold. Oh, actually on a day like this when it's really hot outside, I really don't mind this. Actually feels quite nice. So this is how it goes. <laughs> All right, all done. So the shower curtain comes in particularly handy if you're wild camping somewhere, for example, but there's other cars or other people around, like these guys. So that's when you need a little bit of extra privacy, but when you're truly alone, you don't actually need this thing. The cool thing about all these methods is that if I have any water left at all, after taking my shower, I just drain it out completely and put it back in the tank. Simple. And then I can use it again for showering um, or cooking. But honestly, in my life, every day seems to bring a new surprise. So sometimes I just end up having a quick dip at a lake maybe, and sometimes washing myself off at a campsite. You know, not every day is super adventurous. <laughs> and on some other days, well, I gotta be honest with you, on some other days, I just use actual real showers. For example, whenever I stay in guest houses or hotels. So that's the secret. Wow, I don't think I've ever showered this many times in a single day. So I'm now feeling extra squeaky clean. Tomorrow I'm planning to go on my very first solo off-road camping adventure. That means that I'll be following tracks like this one deep, deep into the mountains of Albania. So if you want to follow along on that adventure, which should be really exciting and hopefully not too stressful and nerve-wracking for me as a newbie to off-roading, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and check in next week. All right, keep exploring and I'll see you in the next adventure.